Right, welcome back. We're on our career build series 26. Um, so we we just went left, or I left when you guys uh, left last time. We're over here at um, that island way over there. Um, that's where we sold our diesel. So we made about $9,000, um, which is what we expected to make. Um, so we're up to 24150 here. Arriving at the diesel gantry. I think we're gonna be able to buy something like 18,000 liters of diesel um, You know, let's do some real quick math of what we expect, you know, I figured out wh how much money we have how much we could buy so um, Let's do a quick calculation. We'll kind of guess our profit and then I'm gonna uh, at some point I'll make a little ca uh, business calculator try to make a little laptop that will do this for us, but um, So we have 2.86 is what we're gonna sell this for we're buying it for a dollar thirty four so that's going to be a profit of uh, $1.52 per liter times 18000 uh, So that's about $27,000 in profit that we're going to make. Um, so that was 9000 profit from here. And that's going to be 27000 profit here. Um, you know, so we're talking we're talking 36000 profit to do this, this little ring. So that's pretty good. Um, so this whole uh, trip has has really helped us figure out what our craft needs to be viable, and so that's really good. So um, one of the things that we're really hurting on is we don't have a ladder for this. So um, we've been having to play some things, and one thing that's concerning me is this battery. Um, our battery is really hurting for charge now. We've used up half the battery, and with my engines going uh, full blast, it's not enough. So I've shut the lights off. So that's good. We've learned that um, I need to start working on the technology to get the um, to get the uh, a little bit better uh, electrical generation, and we might want to put a little bit bigger battery in as well, just to have some longer battery between stops. So um, I'm gonna have to do some tricks here to get um, this hose up there because we don't have a ladder on the barge. Um, it's not the end of the world, but it's a little bit less than ideal. Um, let's see where we, we want to get the barge nice and close here. So I'm going to uh, start reeling it in as well on the winch. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kind of jump my way up onto the barge. I'm going to grab the hose. I'm going to swim in the water, try to grab this ladder, and then walk it all the way up to here. Um, these these are kind of cool, these, um, these gantries, but the issue is um, I don't like that connection. I like actually using a hose, so... I know it's a little bit picky, but um, I don't really like the hose, so um, you know I prefer the system. So I'm actually going to shut the boat completely down. Um, I'm I really am kind of getting worried about that um, that electricity. Uh, you know that we're going to run out of electricity, so I want to uh, shut that down and make sure we can make it back. Um, you know that's another thing I should do. I'll put it on our to-do list is make a, some shore power. So, see, this is an issue here that, um, so you see how much higher the barge is sitting in the water because um, we don't have any liquid in it, uh, any liquid ballast um, uh, kind of weighing it down. So let's use the boat. Uh, that's going to be a little less than graceful. But let's use the boat. We'll, um, we'll have to turn systems back on, um, and we'll winch in. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll winch in, and then um, I'm going to jump off of our boat onto the barge, and then I have to get the hose and then jump in the water. So it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a chore, but this will get us uh, where we need to go, hopefully, and we can fill with oil. Because, like I said, this leg here, from here to here, is going to be worth um, twenty-seven thousand in profit. So that's really worth it um, to us to uh, make that much that much money. Um, you know, that starts getting us into, uh, we'll have, I think, like 50-something thousand. So we can, uh, and that's that's without putting these back in the workshop. So we put these back in the workshop, we'll get most of the money back. Um, we also need to keep an eye on our fuel. So we have one large tank. Um, we have 93 gallons left. We started with 180 gallons. You know, so we've used about half our fuel. Um, so we have to be cognizant of that, but... So we need a thing. We used to have our fuel to go from here to, to here to here. So this long leg here, we should make it back, and then we can buy some diesel here and put it in our tank. So 
definitely a good thing that we uh, made sure that we made it so we could uh, fill our tank up. So this winch is a little on the slow side, so we're just waiting to get that going there. Um, if I put a ladder on this, I could grab the hose, jump off into the water, grab, get on the ladder, and then get in. Um, I like to come up with a more graceful system, but it's kind of tough. Um, I, I don't like these anchors. They, they're just, I don't know. Not a fan of those that type of old style anchor. I like these hoses better. Um, I wish they would put a regular hose winch on there, and then I would uh, we can use that by remote control. But um, you know, we may have to do something like that. We'll see. This one's the hardest one just because it's so tall. But um, you know, even if I use my large um, oil tanker, this is what I end up having to do. So I need this nice and close. We're getting. About six meters left on the uh, that. I'm worried about electricity still. Yeah, we're worried. I'm worried about electricity here. Um, part of the issue was, you know, when we redid some gearing, um, we're not producing as much um, RPM at max throttle. So that's causing us to not recharge as much. So we need to worry about that. This was a pain before I had to jump up on the actual hose holder and then uh, jump off. So this is not ideal, so I need to uh, come up with some sort of ladder to get in and out of this a little bit better, um, uh, or maybe a winch. See, part of the, the main problem, a winch would solve this because the main problem is the, um, the hose pulls on me whenever I jump. It tries to retract the hose. And so here, let's do this. Let's jump up on the rail. And then let's hook it to the hose anchor. Oh, come on. It's going to be tough. I know this is kind of obnoxious to watch. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're in the drink now. Um, and then so I could let out, you know, 100 meters of, of hose or whatever. And then I'd have uh, the hose wouldn't try to keep pulling me back. Like, see, it's trying to pull me back every time I swim. So if I had a winch, I could solve that. So, um, again, like I've said, you know, actually running a career save this is how you learn what your craft actually really need you know when you're just in the planning phase you're doing a um you know you're just doing a custom game where you don't have any actual um anything holding you back you don't know what you actually need all right so let's hook that up let's turn on the pump all right let's check our money should be going down it is all right so uh, I'm gonna leave. Um, let's let's do a quick look for um, loot crates. That will increase our profit again, um, and we can do an explorer. This might be there is one uh, for anybody who hasn't been up here. So there's eight thousand. So that helps supplement our income. That's good. Um, let's kind of look around here. Check. I don't need the flashlight everywhere, but kind of do a little bit of an explorer here. I've been in here, but for anyone who hasn't, um, these are kind of neat to explore around. And we could also sleep in the bed. So, um, you know, if uh, you wanted to detach the boat and go do a mission, you could do that um, by sleeping in the bed. So up here is your helipad if uh, you were going to bring in a helicopter. So it's kind of cool up here. Um, there's another loot crate. So what's that? That is, uh, so we just made 18000 just by coming here and grabbing some loot crates. So that's going to help us advance even more in career. All right, so that's good. Um, that that really pads our income even more. So that's nice and convenient. So I'm going to go down to the boat. I'm really getting concerned about our electricity. So, uh, you know, it's really helping us learn what we need by doing this career save. So, um, you know, we I think we're going to add some solar panels to the roof. That will allow us to um, passively charge while we're sitting somewhere um, in the sunlight. They don't do much. They don't give us a ton of charge, um, you know. So we need to keep that in mind. But um, they do give us a little bit of charge. And then uh, I need to rework the whole um, generation. So currently I'm doing it with an uh, with alternators. I have two alternators. I'll try doubling them. See if that makes me enough electricity. If it doesn't, we're going to have to do a geared um, generator to get enough electricity to go and. Um, see, like we, there's an emergency here. We could go do that emergency, but the problem is going to be we make our profit on that from delivering to the hospital, and we are not going across all that distance to do it. Uh, just not doing it. So um, we're up, 
we're up nicely on money, mostly because we just picked up 18,000 there, and then we made 9,000 here. So, um, you know, with this small of a scale, you are making good profit. You're making probably about the same, a little bit more on res than on rescues. So it's kind of what you're feeling. Uh, once we get into big scale, like when I bring up my tanker and we're moving 300,000 liters of, uh, if I remember, I think it's 300,000 liters, maybe less, maybe 150,000 liters of, of, uh, of oil in one run. We're talking huge, you know, we can make millions moving that. And that allows us to spawn things like the home ship, which I hope to get into and bring into the save. So that's how we'll be able to spawn something like the home ship. The home ship, I think, is going to cost like probably three hundred, three hundred fifty thousand dollars just to spawn it. Um, and so spawning something that big, we need to grind in some cash, make some money. And then that allows us to really run whatever we want. So, um... Let's go ahead and uh, let me let me check a couple things really quick before I. All right, so the battery is still dropping, so I'm trying to find what is eating electricity. Um, something is very. You know what it is? It's the stability system. I bet you the stability systems burn a lot of electricity. So what we need to do is, I need to make sure the stability systems on um, on the systems tab. So if I shut the systems off, I want I want nothing running with the systems on because that's burning up our electricity uh, too much. So I really uh, we need to do that so that we make sure we don't run out of battery because we're going to be in trouble if we run out of battery. Um, you know I'm going to really have to come up with some solution if we do that. So I got rid of that flashing light. And we're still losing electricity, but it's pretty slow. So hopefully we don't run out of electricity. All right, so see you in the next one.